It's very common for unmarried couples to think, well, if something happens to me, everything goes to my partner. Unfortunately, that is not the case at all. The law in this country dictates that if something were to happen to you and you passed away, your partner would have no automatic inheritance rights. Therefore, everything that you've worked hard for in your life, both together as an unmarried couple, the surviving partner would be at risk of not inheriting anything of yours. As a result, it is essential that you both make wills and this is the only way to ensure that if something happens to you, you can make provision for your partner. And both myself and the team at ENG Wills and Probate would be delighted to assist with that process. Our married couples certainly need to make wills. If something were to happen to you, your partner has no automatic inheritance rights. The only way in which you can both look to make provision for one another as an unmarried couple is to make wills. If you were to pass away and both yourself and your partner were not married, your partner is at strong risk of not inheriting anything. The only way to ensure that if you were to pass away and you want to make provision for your partner, the only way to ensure that this happens is by having a legally valid will in place. If you are unmarried with your partner and you were to pass away, it's important to know what would happen if you owned the property and then passed away. Your partner could be at the risk of being kicked out of the property, not having a right to occupy the property, and your partner could be at risk of completely missing out from inheriting the property. The only way to ensure that if something were to happen to you, your partner still has an interest in the property, is by leaving the property in your will to your partner, or if you want to protect the property for the eventual benefit of your children, but ensure that your unmarried partner has a place to live, we can look to include a trust within your will that says that your unmarried partner can continue to live in the property either for the remainder of their lifetime or for a set period of time, but that it's protected for the children. Again, I emphasize that if you were to pass away and your property, you wanted to ensure that your partner was protected and your children were protected, the only way to do this is by having a will in place. So legal rights of unmarried couples and those cohabiting, it's important to identify the rights that each of those people have. Now, unmarried couples in this country have no automatic inheritance rights. However, if you are cohabiting with a partner, the situation may be slightly different. Under what's known as the Inheritance Provision for Family Independence Act of 1975, there are a limited group of people that can claim on your estate for reasonable financial provision. Those that are cohabiting are entitled to do so. But again, to avoid any confusion and any distress in the future, the only way to ensure that your unmarried partner is provided for and to avoid any issues moving forwards is by having a will in place that makes provision for your unmarried partner. An unmarried partner can contest a will. It's important to note that anybody could look to challenge a will if you'd passed away and not made provision for them. But under what's known as the Inheritance Provision for Family Independence Act of 1975, there are a limited group of people that can look to claim for reasonable financial provision and have a strong case in which to do so. Those that you are cohabiting with even unmarried partners can, but again, there is confusion in that if you're an unmarried couple and you're not cohabiting, there could be the risk that your unmarried partner stands to inherit nothing. Same-sex couples would be treated exactly the same as heterosexual couples in terms of if something were to happen and you're unmarried to your partner. Now, whilst you're unmarried, 
If something were to happen to you in a same-sex couple, your partner would have no automatic inheritance rights. The only way to look to ensure that your partner as a same-sex couple is to benefit is through by making a will and having that in place. Being unmarried affects inheritance tax quite substantially. Each person has what's known as a nil rate band. That is the maximum amount your estate can be worth before inheritance tax becomes due. That is £325,000. If you are unmarried, you each have your £325,000 allowance. However, by being married, you would then qualify for spousal exemption. And what that would mean is that each of your £325,000 allowances would combine to mean that you can pass down £650,000 free of inheritance tax as opposed to £325,000. What there also is in place is what's known as a residential nil rate band and that is if you have a main property that you are looking to pass to direct descendants, namely children slash grandchildren, that was introduced in 2017 and that stands at £175,000. By being an unmarried couple, you would each only have your £175,000 allowance. However, again, by being married, your amount would combine. That means that you can pass down the 350000 residential nil rate band rather than the £175,000 each. If you're looking to make a new will, you can, for a limited period of time, take advantage of our £100 discount on the cost of making a will. Or even if you're looking at reviewing your existing will, we can provide a free review of that. So please click the link below, and both myself and the team at ENG Wills and Probate look forward to speaking with you soon.